veterinarians, what do you think they do in a day? Give animal shots, fix their broken legs, groom them? They do all that, but they, al they also save them from bad homes where people don't take care of them. They amputate dead or dying body parts, and they also um, have to put them down if they're too old, vicious, or sick to live. Veterinarians, um, veterinarians help with many different kinds of animals, big to small, from like bunnies to lions or whales. Veterinarians are important to many people's lives. My top three career choices were my top three career choices were veterinarian because I love animals so much, um, photographer because I love nature and I want to capture it in a photo so everybody can see the beauty in it, and fashion designer because I love clothes and I want everybody to have the type of style they want. The opportunity costs. Opportunity costs are is your second highest uh, choice that you give up to have your first choice. My opportunity costs, as you can see, was a photographer. A normal day as a veterinarian, you work with many different types of animals and people. You work with vicious animals and mean people, or you can work with nice animals and nice people. Uh, the days are never the same. Um, it usually starts early. Veterinarians have to go there to get their paperwork done. And most veterinary clinics have an animal shelter next to it, so they feed the animals, they make sure they're healthy and comfortable. because they can be adorable like Zoe or they and you could work with many people who are nice and kind you, and you can make better friends and um, you can also make lives better which is the most important if you a little girl comes in saying her dog broke her leg you want to help that little girl and her dog get better bad incentive Bad incentives to being an animal doctor or veterinarian. You could get bit, bit by an animal, or you could watch an animal suffer, which is very sad to watch. Veterinarians have to be aware of venom in many kinds of animals, claws, or teeth. This is my budget. I make a pretty good pay. I make 62000 a year, and for a month, I make 5100 digits. 66 um, 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 I spend most of my money in discretionary and taxes. 35% in discretionary and 29% taxes. I also pay the least amount in medical insurance and toiletries, which is 1% and 2%. My trade-offs. My trade-offs um, trade offs are with when you give up something to get something better. My trade offs were I gave up money and clothes so I could have food so I, because everybody needs to eat. I also gave up living by myself to have two roommates so I could afford my house that I'm getting. And I also gave up money and pets so I could give money to charity. my money from somewhere. So I wrote a letter of application to Haney Animal Clinic so as so I could apply for a job as an animal caretaker and I could take care of the animals there. My a letter of application sums up your why you wanted that job and your abilities to get that job. With my letter of application I also have my resume. A resume states your experience and skills um, former schooling um, and awards and your references. My former schooling was for high school, I went to Heston High School and then college, I went to Colorado State University to get my DVM, my doctorate in veterinary medicine. That took seven years to get. I, um, to be a vet, you need to be up 
observative, social, passionate for animals, creative, and have and be able to be flexible so you can deal with many things. I'm a resume of some of my awards and my references, my and my experiences. My experiences were I worked at Newton Humane Society in my high school and some college years. And then I worked at um, Peabody's Horse Stables, Greenwood Stables, and I, those both taught me how to deal with many different uh, many different scenarios of how animals got hurt or if they were came from bad homes. Um, my references are Jean Paul and Resume Royer. They were my former employers at both my experiences. They uh, references are usually your former employers, teachers, or co workers. Uh, my awards were honors, honor awards, and the Dean List. These are my websites. They, I looked at these websites because they taught, they showed me many different things about um, how to become a vet and what vets do in a daily life. Um, my two articles were called "What Does a Veterinary Do?" That told me what veterinarians do in a day and what they deal with. And it, the other one was called "Veterinarians." It so, tells me how to become a veterinarian and what they do. Okay, but she does have a feeling. You need to give her one of these every 12 hours. 